Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Welcome to AK TV. We all talk, but how many of us talk which is good for others? We all talk, but how many of us talk which is brings happiness to other faces? Did you ever think of it? For that perception, for that perception, AKTV brings a virtual talk show called Useful Talk Show. Today, I have got three honorable guests from different country. First of all, I would like to introduce Mr. Peter, fitness manager of, uh, it's called Sisama Tree Academy, right? Sycamore Tree Academy, yes. Sycamore Tree Academy. Mr. Peter Sycamore Tree Academy is a fitness manager and uh, he's from South Africa. Also, we have another honorable guest, uh, Mrs. Tabile Duma. Uh, she is a principal also, Sycamore Tree Academy. And we have got another honorable guest from Bangladesh, uh, Mr. Tarikul Amin. He is HR professional, ICDDRB which means International Center for Diarrhea Disease Research of Bangladesh. So guys, welcome to my show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, you're welcome. Okay, first of all, uh, I would like to go to Mr. Peter, uh, the experienceable guy who mm -hmm. always doing the positive work and who always uh, encourage others like, because of you guys, because of Mr. Maybe Ahmed connection is lost. Yeah, connection is gone. Five zero nine. That's better. Seven zero eight. Through it. We've got connection back, so we're okay now. All right. So we can now is all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry for uh, that uh, interpretations because of the connections. Um, uh, that what I'm trying to say is, Mr. Peter, because of you guys, we are middle aged people are encouraged by you guys the way you guided us how things supposed to do so i'm not gonna say many more about that we want to hear from you you are finance manager of sisamo tree academy which is npc non-profit company and we are doing very well for the general people so mr peter can you please explain of your academy how does it work what you do how people get benefited from you explain the more all your all your effort and how people can get touch with you guys, please. I would say that Milo would be better. Tabile is better qualified to explain how we got started. She's the founder. She's okay. the brains behind the whole thing. So okay. I think it would be better for her to lead the first discussion. All right. Okay. No problem, Miss uh, Miss Mrs. Tabile Juma. Please, can you Hi. go for the same same uh, uh, question to answer, please? So basically what we are, we are a, a, a small uh, private school uh, that caters mostly, um, we do have um, uh, different races, but it's mostly for, uh, uh, it was mostly created for black kids that want to learn English as a language, but they cannot be accepted in those English learning schools because they live uh, in, in, in remote areas that are too far from the school because to, for you to, be, to get into the school that teaches in um, English uh, language, you have to be from a certain area. So that was the main reason we, 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 we um, started the school. We wanted everybody to get the same opportunity to study and learn uh, with, with English as a home language. So as I said, we cater for all different races. We do have all different races, but that was the main reason we started the school. So we give uh, same, uh, same learning opportunities for kids from all over the place. 
Wow. So, okay. Okay. Carry on. So basically, we started in 2020 with only 20 kids, and now fast forward to 2022, we have 100 kids. So we've wow. been growing, growing each and every year, and it's amazing. And the aim that we had for 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 or the vision or the mission that we had for the school when it started, we seeing we seeing everything we can see because our the kids that started with us in grade one and grade three now. And we see all the hard work that we've put into uh, that these kids' education. We can see they can now. Some of them came to school. They couldn't even speak English. They couldn't even read. They couldn't even write. Some of them in grade three, they can. You can give them any book. They will read and they will speak uh, the language very well, which is um, one of the most proudest moments uh, that I can say I have when I see the kids. So that's what basically we did. The platforms we because we're not a big school and we don't have the funds to do the big advertisement the main place where we advertise the parents can get hold of us is through the word of mouth the parents that have the kids at the school we recommend us to other parents and then also on facebook uh, we've got a group we've created a group and then we also have a website so people will come to the school and then they will go in the classroom and they will like what we are about and that's how we get most of our kids Wow, that's great job you have doing, eh? So you said that the uh, the grade started from one, not it's a it's not from the preschool. No, we start from grade one to grade seven. Grade ones to grade seven. So it's okay. a primary school, yes. Okay, all right. So you said that it, when in twenty twenty you started that that was uh, only twenty kids uh, was twenty started. kids. Yeah, we, were, we, were, we were hoping for 10 kids to start with, but it just, we we ended up getting 20, 24 kids, if I'm not mistaken. Was it 24 kids, Peter? Or 25 yeah. kids? And then 20, the yeah. second, 25 kids. And then the second year, we were on 65 kids. And then this year, we were on 100 kids. Wow, you're doing great job. Uh, a big it's, clap it's, on behalf of uh, AKTV. And uh, those who have seen, please give them a big clap from 20 to 100 in one year's time. That means you're doing great. That means you're doing the good job. The service of yes, very yes, yes. Well, most of okay. our of the kids that we get is through the recommendation from the kids that are at school. The parents yeah. are actually seeing improvement with the kids because yeah, we're yeah. not only a school. We take these kids as our own kids. There's love. There's they, the kids feel love. They feel safe. They they, they, they also learn at the same time at the school. Yeah. So we it's yeah. a it's a family type of environment, if I may say yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's why they love it. That's why they love your service. Otherwise, they wouldn't. So uh, one of the questions uh, uh, I have to ask: uh, the South Africa, South Africa, it's a rainbow nation. As as far I know, the eleven languages you guys have, right? How many languages you speak with? The dog is bugging. I'm saying that how many uh, languages do you guys speak with in, in South Africa? Can you in South Africa, there is 11 official languages. 11 official languages, that's what yes. I know. So, so uh, yeah. Sign language is one of the um, 11 official languages. Yeah, yeah. And also, also uh, uh, the different nations, it's called Rainbow Nation, right? Sorry? And the different nation is called Rainbow Nations. Yes, we are rainbow. We've got we've got Indians, we've got white people, we've got black people, and also with black people, we've got different tribes. We've got your Zulus, we've got your Kosa, we've got your Tswana people. We've got it's it's a mix of different cultures. That's what makes it even. Uh, 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 that's why they call it a rainbow because it's a mix of of all things beautiful. So so for sure, in South Africa, there's no racism at all. <laughs> We 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 do it like I, I I wouldn't say we don't have it. It's 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 there because the, the, I, I mean I don't think there's a country without racism. Yeah, no, but, but rating is high country. and it's low. Just that we've been like this for the longest time. We've known that there's Indian peoples. We've known there's colored people. We've known there's black yeah. people. We've known yeah. there's white people. Yeah. We've managed to live uh, like that or, or to live together for yeah. years. So I think yeah. that's why we we, yeah. we we are called the Rainbow Nation. A Rainbow Obviously, Nation. there will be some people that will like. Uh, we, we cannot all be hundred uh, percent. 
in with the rainbow thingy, but there are some people. There's more. Yeah, yeah. There, there's always, there's always that, minor, uh, yes. minor. There's always the minor issue in every always country. It's not a problem. Few, but really majority, majority feel positive that way. We, we can explain to the racism uh, uh, definitions. But uh, your school can be a big example to the world, to the nations that. Your school, I believe, there's not only whites, not only black. They're also mixing students. Isn't yes. It? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that means it's a big uh, uh, proven enough that you guys even even well. with the staff, we've got uh, we've got black teachers, we've got Indian teachers, we've got white teachers, we've got colored teachers. So okay. we've got everything covered. Yes. Okay. All right. We see in your organizations or company called NPS, non-profit company. How do you explain that NP, NPC uh, according to your company? Sorry? That that NPC, non-profit company, your academy. So how do you explain? Uh, when, how when, do you, yeah. when we started, we, uh, we when we did this, so we, we, we only went with the, 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 the aim to educate. Non-profit, it means we don't make any profit. Hmm. That's no, basically okay. whatever the the, the 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 school fees that are paid from the by the kids, yeah. basically goes straight to to um back to into pay the, the teachers and and and, and maintain oh, okay. the school and pay yeah. for all the other stuff that we need. We're not making oh, okay, any okay. profit. Yes. Oh, okay. That means that you are getting money. You is spending money for their goods as well. Yes. Okay, that's great. That's great. And I believe, uh, okay, uh, uh, as Mr. Peter is a financial manager, so I have to ask him. So, uh, Mr. Peter, uh, if the students come to, uh, uh, once they uh, get admission of your school, the prices ranges, the admission fees, monthly fees, all the other equipments to buy, those things, is it a reasonable price, reasonable cost than other school? We are um, better priced. I'm not going to use the word cheap. Or I'd say we're better priced than any of the schools um, in the area. We okay. don't apply the rules that the other schools apply in that in South Africa, if you don't live in yeah. the immediate area, you can't go to that school. It doesn't yeah. matter who you are. So yeah, yeah. we open our doors to anybody that can actually get to the school and the yeah. school fees are very competitive. Yeah. And I think the, the, the way we are growing, our price um, for school fees has been um, favorable. Otherwise we wouldn't have the growth. Um, it's not only the money I know, but uh, at the end of the day, if, uh, the, the, the situation in South Africa, the people who haven't got the money they used to have years ago, School yeah, fees yeah. is a it's very, pandemic, very, yeah. it's yeah. a very big expense. It's a big, yeah. education is a massive investment. Yeah. So yeah. you invest wisely into a school that you know is giving good education, but the price has to be right. And I think we've been fortunate enough to, to get that balance correct. Yeah. The price yeah. is right and our standard of education yeah. is, is excellent. Right. right. As you all know that education is the backbone of the nations, each and every excellent. country. So, so, so we must have big concern on it, especially the, the developed country or non-developed country. Everybody should concern about the, uh, uh, the school teaching systems. At yeah. least the minimum standard they have to follow, how they're teaching, how the, the children are growing up. This is very important to maintain the quality and policy. Are you agree with me? Exactly, yes. Yes, yes. correct. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, so... Um, uh, Miss uh, uh, Duma was mentioning about English languages at the very first time. She said that uh, people from the, uh, uh, like say 10, 20 kilometers uh, away or uh, the students uh, uh, who live in, uh, in township, so they need a better treatment and in education. So you, for that perceptions, you guys are concerning to open up a private uh, academy, which is a school. So about the languages, in, especially in English, like right now I'm in the UK, I can see how important is English language is in our daily life. So what do you think, what do you give advice to our parents, uh, how they should take in about English languages to their daily life, to speak in, with English languages, how important it is at this moment? 
Are you going to answer that, Pisa? I'll leave it to you. I can answer it if you'd like me to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we don't, we don't, we adopt English as, a, as the first language, but yeah. we don't discard the other languages within the country. Yeah, I think yeah. English is a very important language that a lot of people in, in South Africa do speak it. Yeah. Um, but it's not our only concern. We, we diversify with Afrikaans mm -hmm. and with um, uh, the Africa Zulu. Now, mm. we, we don't prescribe who should do Afrikaans, as mm. uh, Afrikaans being forced upon people was, was a, a bone of contention many, many years ago. So we oh, yeah. give the children the choice of what lang second language they would like to do, which okay. would, it would either be Afrikaans or Zulu. All right. um, obviously, we can't do all the 11 languages because we just, yeah. it's impossible. But we but do the key ones, the key Afrikaans, Zulu and English are probably the key languages in South Africa. And also wow. the reason we choose English as our, as our main uh, subject is because like everywhere you go, all the workplaces, you have to speak like English. When you go to university, that's what it and to these days kids want to travel and, 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 and study in different countries. So you have to know that and, and speak the, 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 the English language for you to be able to communicate with people, whether it's it's in the university or in a workplace. So um, as much as we have all the other languages in South Africa, but English is the, it's, it's a medium language, I would say it's the one that is used everywhere when you go to work you have to speak english because not everybody understands each and every language that is spoken in south africa but everybody understands english yeah yeah because it's an international language that's why you yes. guys are, must must focus on it it's, it's true yes wow that's that's, that's great um and uh, now i want to ask you about what kind of barrier like Maybe this program gonna see someone, gonna watch someone, and they wants to have intention from different country to open up something like you guys, what you're doing there. So, what kind of barrier in the beginning time or struggle you get uh, to start off? So, if you can share it to advise it's, it's, to them, it's not only a barrier when you starting. It's just you have to know from the beginning to the end. You just on your own. Uh, yeah. If you, I'll suggest people to save up money if they want to do this because there's no funding. We don't get any funding for 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 for, for from anyone. Everything mm. has been done uh, from from our pockets. We've paid for each and everything that is happening at the school when we started. There's no mm. funds. There's no sponsors. Mm. There's nothing. It's difficult to get those kind of things. It's it's not an easy. So it's not only when you start. Even now, three years in, we haven't even had one sponsor from any uh, companies in South Africa or oh. anyone. Everything yeah. that we pay for is either comes from our pocket or comes from yeah. the school fees. Yeah, of course. That's, One day that's, will... that's the only thing I'll say it's a barrier, but if you have a drive and then and you mm. want to, to, to do it and it's, it's, it's your dream, you go for it. But if it's possible, you, have, you can save up as much money as you want because everything that you have to do needs money. To go get the permission yeah. to run the school needs money. Mm. To get this, the, 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 the transport uh, assessed, like if, if the street that you live in or the street mm. you're going to be running the school is okay for the type of a business. Mm. There's somebody that needs to come there. Everything that has to go in the school is paid mm. for. So you need to have money. Because yeah, yeah. if you're going to go in and thinking you're going to, you'll get funding or sponsorship, it's it's not. We haven't had any of those since we started. Yeah. I think, I, I, well, I think I, one of the other things as well, it's not a barrier, it's hurdles. And yeah. for us to be a, a legitimate school, there are yeah. hurdles that, the, the municipalities put in place. There are yeah. hurdles that the education department put in place, hmm. um, i.e. the qualifications of your teachers, the safety hmm. of the classrooms and the safety of the, the school in itself, the hmm. fire safety, the health safety. All of yeah. these different things come with a cost. Yeah. And the yeah. municipality and the government, they, they insist in very, very specific yeah, yeah, they um, want criteria. it done so the kids yeah. are safe. It's it, only for the safety of the kids. Open. Yes. So it's yeah, not yeah. a it's not a standard like building a house and open it up and make it a school. You can't do that. You okay, have to have specific materials, specific teachers. It's 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 intense. Let's put it that way. You have to know what you're doing. 
Yeah. So the, if, if let's say if somebody wants to uh, be a sponsor of your school and uh, they wants to share themselves uh, to growing you guys up and do the more better job. So I'm, I'm sure that you guys always welcoming those kind of organization, right? Sorry. I missed that. Uh, I'm saying if there's any organizations wants to be in sponsor of your school, try to donate to develop your school uh, or, 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 or make you, uh, you feel much comfortable in, in cost wise. So you yeah. guys can welcoming those kind of organizations to donate. Most definitely. We, we've always had a view that we want to move with technology. And it's sadly one of the things that we, we struggle with at the moment in that we want, we would really, we've been trying to get the money together for a computer room to have okay. uh, computer studies for the kids. We've got kids at grade one oh, okay. um, to get the kids started at grade one at six years old with computers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's one of our biggest drives right now. And we're working hard towards that. So we're very optimistic that um, mm -hmm. along the road we'll, we'll get there. It's just, takes a bit of time to get there but those are one of the things that we, we're trying to focus on to enrich the education that we can give to the kids yeah. that we've got well i hope and i believe and i pray that one day someone somehow can uh, uh be stand with you guys like you got you guys are doing all alone all the effortness which is very difficult like as you explain everything cost money and it's really difficult especially in this pandemic situations to bring yeah. on going on so well we're we going to come back to you again so for this time i would like to jump on mr tarikul amin as he's uh, from bangladesh and and the reason why i give you the floor for the for the third place to listen from up them and now you can explain what you uh, uh, feel in your in Bangladeshi perceptions, especially in language wise, because as 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 I know, Bangladeshi people, uh, not most of people, they 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 concern about English languages, especially in 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 primary school. I I believe they don't concern about English languages. They they they, they always concern. Bengali languages. So how important do you think as a HR manager, private holder, uh, uh, employee, uh, what do you think the English language in Bangladesh, in a uh, uh, subcontinent, how important in, is this? Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Ahmed, and as well as uh, my dear Peter and Tabil. So I think all of are you in good health? Uh, because we have seen the pandemic uh, yeah. uh, from two years. So by the grace of Almighty that uh, we are fine. There's the grace yes. uh, for us and for the other people, I think. Yes, uh, thank you. Before starting, yeah, thank you. Uh, formally, uh, I want to just repeat something uh, from you like that uh, ahmed just uh, uttered that education is the backbone of a country yeah and yes. we yes. all know that we all yes. know that uh, but but i think that yes definitely uh, not the education the proper education system is the backbone of a country not only the education the proper education that education will help you to be a good human being to the others do you agree with me yeah, of course. Yes. I agree. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. With Don't all tell. due, yeah, with all uh, due respect to the all education system all over the world, uh, but I prefer, I do prefer the Japanese educational system. We all know that this is the envy education system to all over the world. Like that, we all know that uh, in the Japan, all children are taught uh, to respect others, uh, like to respect to the human as well as to the animals and the natures. So uh, they learn the manner before the gathering of knowledge or before the education. So I think which is very, very important. And right now in the every aspect of the world, 
this is very missing. I, I, uh, this is my personal this opinion. This is personal opinion. opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, because uh, to be to be good to the others, I think it is to be great to the uh, yourself also. Uh, because uh, Tabil and uh, Peter, yeah, you are very much engaging uh, with the education, uh, non-profit educational uh, uh, system. Academy, and, yeah. Yeah, non-profit educational ac 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 academy, as well as, uh, which is uh, very much appreciable uh, for the social work for the human being. So I do appreciate that and I respect you guys. Thank you. So for, 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 for my uh, uh, next question was that how important do you think English languages in oh, Bangla yeah. Bangladesh, uh, uh, they should uh, feel in their daily life? Okay, yeah. Uh, with the due respect to the all uh, mother languages from all over the world, wow. uh, I respect uh, all the mother languages and the martyrs who have died for their own languages, like in Bangladesh. Uh, what happened in 1952 and okay uh, but i think you need to know the demand of the world yeah you have your mother tongue that's okay but this is for you uh, for your local area or for your yes. home country uh, but not for the rest of the world in, because international wise because uh, uh, while you are growing or while your ages are growing so the educations uh, are not limited within your country so uh, your doors are open to the all of the world so uh, there is only i think uh, without english without knowing english you cannot uh, learn the proper uh, education or uh, or the higher degree yeah you can go japan or china or the other european countries uh, for the education but without knowing english you're nothing i think so uh, as a uh, a developing country uh, uh, like Bangladesh, uh, yeah, uh, the perception regarding English is it is now changing, uh, but not that much that we are expecting. But this is changing, and uh, this is appreciable uh, uh, because uh, from uh, after the HSC uh, higher secondary school, that when you are in university. So most of the uh, educational curriculum are now uh, in English. So I think yeah. it helps the uh, students to learn the international language uh, like English. That's it right. from Th me. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, uh, I would like to uh, ask you another question also. And that is, um, like you said, the proper education is uh, very yeah. important. That proper education, when a children born, is first of all started from the parents, yeah, which is family education. Mother so, is the first school, I think. In, mother is the first school. The first school. <laughs> yeah, mother is the first school. Uh, so what I'm trying to ask you, as a parents, as a parents, should feel the value of English speaking languages to teaching or practicing to the children or they should know where their children should go, which school sh should go, what need to do. So as a parent, I, I, I know that you also uh, a, a dad of three children. So as a parent, how believable you think of this and what advice you're giving to other parents to feel that way to give them in speaking language to be learned? Okay, so actually we have uh, we know the chemistry of uh, knowing English. Uh, it is different thing, but actually, if you are born in uh, South Africa or if you are born in uh, Saudi Arabia, the, uh, uh, and if you are born in Spain, uh, so it, you can born whatever you are, but uh, actually the children learn from their parents. So if the parents are speaking Arabic, if the parents are speaking the local languages of your country, uh, South Africa, or if the parents are talking uh, like Spanish huh, or uh, Japanese, so actually, ultimately, the children learn from the parents. So if the education uh, system of your country based on uh, only the local languages, actually, the child's uh, 
child will know nothing about english so i think this is the mandatory uh, this should be the mandatory uh, course of for the for the students uh, we all know that in all educational system curriculum uh, english uh, is a subject uh, but i think the teaching system uh, need to be changed nowadays the world yeah. demands okay thank you thank you very much for your valuable answer mr tarikul amin momin so in these situations i would like to jump on uh, tabile juma tabile yeah. juma uh, uh, um, uh, as as mr mr amin mentioned about the proper educations uh, uh, and you understood we all understood what uh, he already explained and we know what is the proper education mother is the first school in their children yes right? in, in every way so from your academy Uh, what do you think what is the specialist what is the different than other academy than other school what how you define it how you say it? sometimes we some, uh, i would say the different i would say some we know that when you go to school you have to learn and 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 and, and, and know your school work and, and and that's it we don't only teach um the stuff that needs to be known academically we don't only we teach kids we we, we teach them about uh, loving themselves we teach it about loving others we teach about respect there's a whole lots of things that goes into teaching it's not only about a language or a subject it's about life itself like you need that's great that's great yes yeah, you that's teach great. kids you mean that uh, when they manner, go all out, the manner you know, basic manner you you you, you teach yes, them first yes, don't don't yes. not don't giving them that uh, mentally pressure of the education you must memorize that you must yes. writing that homework yes. all the stuff you reduce that and put it on 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 free of mind peace of yes. mind yeah that's what i'm yes. trying to say true all true. right that's nice okay so this is the different than other school in your academy Yeah, I, I think there's, there's a few other things too. I okay, think okay, Mr. Peter. Yeah, you can go on. No I think there's an an interaction between our yeah. teachers. We we our school is a is a school with small classes. Unfortunately, okay. the the mainstream schools in South Africa have a majority of them have in excess of thirty to forty kids. Okay. So it puts a great amount of pressure on the teachers just to teach. Hmm. And we strongly believe that the interaction of a teacher that's that can spend the time with the kids in smaller classes can impart other things like respect yes. and yeah. camaraderie and to play fair and to congratulate mm. somebody when they've lost at a game yes. and things like that. And our teachers mm. do have that interaction because we have small classes. And um if you can go to any of our teachers and look at a teacher in an in a, the bigger school they don't okay. have the time to interact like that so wow. for for our school it's a it's a plus in that the teachers okay. have got smaller classes and they can spend more time imparting maybe some of their personal um experiences in life and all okay. of our teachers have got degrees all of our teachers have got um the the type of clearances that they need to be able to interact with the kids like that Wow, so yeah i think that i think we we're lucky with the teachers we have um oh. and they they all all do um, respect the kids they have and they impart respect in the classroom oh. so okay that's great uh, mr peter as a finance manager and maintenance um i would like to know one more things as well um let's say there is a family like you said the, the everybody is not wealthy in financially especially in this pandemic situations let's say their kids are talented the kids are really brilliant wants to learn more but they they don't have ability to 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 send them a, a private school to have well educations for those kind of family members from those kind of uh, kids do you guys offer a free of education or less cost of education something like that yes we we've got a um we interview the parents yeah. and obviously to to ascertain what they can afford we obviously have got a a financial burden we're not a burden a financial um cost that we have to maintain so okay. we we have a um um a care center in south africa called bobby bear who okay. looks after children who've suffered um through bad experiences with parents parents fighting killing each other and they end up in a 
it's like a foster home type thing. We okay. have got a, um, a Bobby Bear candidate with us mm. at the moment. He's, mm. He suffers from um, alcohol syndrome, where the mother was drinking, mm. and so he's, a, he, he's but he's hyper active. Mm. Mm-mm. So he's a handful, but he's a beautiful little kid, and we take him. We don't charge anything, and we have a wow. discount structure for families that are struggling, and that, that discount structure goes to well below half of what we charge for normal children. We can't yeah. offer free education for, for, for everyone, everyone because it's just yeah. not viable. We just got to, yeah. and the teachers, yeah. our teachers yeah. are so highly qualified. We have to pay the good yeah. salary to of, keep them. Of course. Yeah, of so course. we do we do have a, a financial discount structure for families. Yeah, we do assist with transport as far as yeah. putting the families in connection with the right people, and we speak to the transport companies to subsidise okay. transport, and we do okay. take um, impoverished and uh, people that are suffering um, for free. Okay. We, we 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 have we do do that, and we we have uh, a structure in place where we're going to continue to do that. Yeah, so which is a very good initiative. Also, you drink, and I hope is continued. Uh, uh, that offers to have some specific families, though those who really in need. So uh, I believe that is going to be continued. All right. So uh, uh, Tabile is a principal of that uh, Sisamo Tree Academy. Um, Tabile, tell me. Uh, The books, all the books and the uh, 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 equipments we need to the uh, children, they buy buy themselves or you also provide it from the school? No, we, 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 we're not in the position to, to provide. So the parents buy their own books, uh, the, 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 the textbooks, the stationery, they, the parents buy. What we do, we, we, we find somebody, we'll go to a, a, a supplier and say... No, no, oh, sorry, 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 Tabilia, I think you missed my questions. Uh, I, say, I say that the equipments you got in your school, the students or student parents buy from you. Uh, no. is, is that way or they go themselves to the store and buy? No. They don't buy from us. We get somebody, like uh, we get a supplier yeah, and yeah. then we bring them to school and then the parents, because it's it's like, imagine if the parents had to go all the way that side to just buy a certain book, we go all the way. What we do, we organize uh, the suppliers and they come to the school, we have a day where the parents can come and purchase these things. We make it easier for the parents. That's why yeah. most of the parents like us. They don't have to go in the queues and, and buy stationery. Yeah. They know yeah, on yeah. this day we'll have to go to school. The, the, the supplier mm-hmm. will be there on that day and then we can buy all the stationery that is needed. Okay. Yeah, so, so we so, communicate so, with the suppliers who come to school and then yeah. sell directly to the parents. The parents we don't, yeah. as a school, we don't say that because we don't sell yeah. it because we don't yeah. have the finance to yeah, go and yeah. buy big amounts and then sell yeah. it. So yeah. what we do, we just bring the suppliers to the school yeah. and have yeah. the parents make it easy to, for the parents so they can come and buy everything they need from the yeah. school. Yeah. All right, Mister Peter, follow, trying to, to say follow. something, yeah. Yeah, to follow on from that, um, t- what Tabile does, because each yeah. grade has different requirements, Mm-mm. she formulates lists for each grade, and then the, mm-hmm. the lists go off to the suppliers. The suppliers box the mm-hmm. annual requirements for the kids. Yeah. Wow. So each grade has got a, their year's supply of stationery and paper and all the other bits and pieces in a box. And that mm-hmm. box comes to the school, which the parents buy directly with the supplier Supply. so they just pay and, and, buy, and they pick it up from us but yeah. um, a lot of work goes into that to, to get mm. those boxes packed with exactly the right stuff for the kids so yeah. they the parents don't have to do anything yeah. and we yeah, even go as far as yeah. to cover the books for them as well yeah yeah that's a great job you have done uh tabile uh, as a principal i would like to know also another things that there's called private tuition i mean extra care to the children those who are weak of subject some somebody weak in math, somebody weak in science, somebody weak in English. So that extra care tuition, do you do you, do you teachers does or they go themselves and find it all somewhere else outside and get the tuition? No, we 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 do have extra lessons for those who are struggling, and yeah. also we 
communicate with if there's a child that is struggling we communicate it direct we communicate directly with the parents and say there's a struggle here with the child what can we do to assist the child and then we form a plan from the school with the parents even if it's to say they must stay late and do extra lessons and also we have aftercare service like where the kids are being helped with the homework because what's the point of sending a child back home with the homework they don't understand so if they stay at school longer and then as uh, they sit down and they get help with the homework or whatever that they struggle with so we do oh. have that we do have extra lessons and also we do help with uh, uh, homework during aftercare okay wow that's great which is very good uh uh that's why you have from 20 students to 100 students eh? <laughs> and i hope next year it will be a thousand i hope and believe that please get it up your good work always right now i would like to go to mr taiko i mean uh mr Amin, <laughs> say something about your workplace as you mentioned previous uh, question of answer that is really needed in our daily life, how important is English languages to speak? Do you speak English in your office with your colleagues? Uh, okay, so you know that uh, I'm working in international NGO and this is called ICDDRB. So uh, this is very renowned uh, in many countries. Uh, because uh, the this organization uh, it is the landmark of the research so uh, we uh, we are doing our research uh, to solve the public health problems for all over the world wow uh, so uh, we have uh, the rainbow people also in here uh, uh, so many uh, from the many countries of the world uh, the we are having right now so while uh, interacting with the others uh, or with the foreigners with the expatriates so definitely uh, there is no other language like english but when we actually communicate with our peer colleagues or with our colleagues who are from uh, bangladesh so we talk with them with our native language and that's it Okay, but do you think that in, in, in other other country, uh, my personal uh, 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 view of point, I see there's a local Indians. Uh, I have been in, in uh, uh, what is called uh, Singapore. I have been in Malaysia. I have been in uh, even South Africa. I have been in Mozambique. I have been in, 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 in Lesotho. I have been in uh, Ethiopia, Nepal. Anywhere I go, I see um uh then their own brothers and sisters like uh, uh siblings even the friends and family their native languages let's say hindi or urdu or arabic but they're speaking in english so because they want to develop their skill in english speaking do you think that we should also starting that practice yeah, session we, in our yeah, country yeah, yeah. yeah in bangladesh yeah, well, uh, uh, we should uh, uh, we should culture uh, the English uh, from our own, but actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, in some extent, uh, 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 because the root of our nation actually uh, not uh, linked with English very much, uh, so uh, this is not all the way possible uh, for all of us. So uh, when uh, I will just. Uh, talk with uh, my peer colleagues in English uh, in some extent that uh, he thinks, okay, that's it. Uh, five minutes or 10 minutes exercise is okay. But actually uh, we are not used to uh, in Bangladesh. Uh, this is the real scenario that I need to mention. That's why I mentioned it that the parents should take that initiative before the the children started. From the, from, from the, from the children, yeah. From yeah, the children, yeah. I, I think. yeah. It's very, very important, especially for next generations in these technology situations. In uh, without English, I, I'm not. We not dis disrespect to our mother tongue. Do you all respect of our native languages? We should learn international language as well, and that yes. startup, that desire, must starting from the parents to teach yeah. the 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 children. That's why yeah. you think as well. I, I do agree. agree. Yeah, I do agree. Even this interview we, yeah, right. this interview we have now, 
wouldn't yeah. happen if we, we, oh, we, we couldn't speak English, right? <laughs> if I had to yeah. speak in my language in Zulu and you speak yeah. in your language and you speak in your language, we wouldn't understand each other. <laughs> the only reason we can understand each other is because we're speaking English. English. So it is Habila, very how do you, how how uh, how do you read my mind that I was just saying the same words that you were saying? <laughs> uh, Mr. Amin, Mr. Amin, don't forget she's the principal of the school. Eh? She can read also, mind. Al <laughs> also the mind reader, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. And that's Mr. what I tell the Mr. kids. I know Mr. everything that you are about to do. I can read minds. I can see even when I'm not looking. <laughs> oh. And Mr. <laughs> and, Mr. and Mr. Amin, for your kind information, uh, I should tell you to explain how good and rainbow nation of South Africa you can understand from that. Mr. Yeah, yeah. Peter and Mr. Tabile, they are husband and wife. So wow. there's no racism. Really? <laughs> yeah. <Yep. Yes. laughs> so, so you see how Rainbow Nation are there, man. It's a beautiful country. But and we have, a, and we have a baby, a baby girl, yeah. four years old little girl. Oh, yeah. That's great. yeah. And, uh, <laughs> congratulations, congratulations, Mr. Peter and family. And I, I hope that next one will be the baby boy. <laughs> Yeah. No, oh. no, no, no. Yes, yes, both of our... We're both too of old our... for that now. No more babies. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ahmed. Yeah, yeah uh, yes. Peter is, Peter is very wise uh, because uh, she made her uh, wife principal, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Mr. Peter is always supporting behind the fire. So we all know... Every successful man always behind the woman, but in this case, I can say every successful Peter, woman. Peter just <laughs> Peter just transferred his uh, the responsibility. Peter just delegated the responsibility. Uh, blah 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 uh, uh, to the uh, Tabil. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he's you're very clever, man. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I do respect you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Um. Uh, thank you for your answer, I, Mr. I, 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 I just, uh, I just joke. No, no. It's oh, fine. No, it's, fine. Do know. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. We, we, should, we, we all need uh, that kind of uh, communications and the relations yes. to each others. Yeah. So then yeah, only yeah. we can avoid the violence and hatreds. So thank uh -huh. you so much. At least on behalf of Bangladeshi parents, Mr. Tarikul Amin, agreed that we really need to start. This is the time. Not tomorrow, right now, as a parent, we have to start that we should teach our children as soon as possible how to speak English. Otherwise, the life will be blind in future because of technology, because of competitive in life. Yeah. You agree, Mr. Peter? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, okay. me too. All right. Uh, but I think uh, uh, in the end, just I want to add some more. Hello. Wow, that is uh, Mr. Peter, baby girl. Hi, hello. That's our baby. Say hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> My name is Kali M. Your You're name so is cute. Kali M. Kali M. Kali M. Wow, beautiful name. <laughs> cute girl. <laughs> you have you have nice hair, but I don't have many hair like you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good play. Wow, thanks. Say bye bye. Great. Say bye bye. Okay. Good play. All right. Okay, Mr. Peter, uh, tell me, tell me about about that. Uh, as you running your school is very hard. Um, uh, all alone you're doing as a finance manager. Uh, as you said, you have been trying to get some uh, uh, like as like sponsor to help it out to growing more. So uh, when you said you have been trying. What kind of response you get from them? Is it positive or negative? What you can what can you say? Initially the the, the responses have been very, very good, but there's okay. no follow through. Nothing happens. Nothing oh, actually okay. evolves. And you phone and, and see where we are, we phone again, and then the phone yeah. calls don't get taken anymore. So when yeah. you're a face to face, there's a promise. Yeah. And there's yeah. an agreement, but oh. nothing really oh. materializes. Oh. So we just oh. leave it. <laughs> All right, I understand now. It's like empty promises. You can't, yeah. you can't say anything. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But to keep on try, and as I said, the, even though my platform is very small, I was very busy, and this is my passion to do the good work. I believe one day we die, 
but our work will be remain. That live yeah. stream gonna be remain even though we dry, die tomorrow. So our generation can see what kind of work we does. That's the main purpose of, of my uh, yes, doing that. Yes. All right. So, so yeah, um, Tabile, uh, Tabile Duma, uh, as a principal, as a mother, as a parent, as a teacher, uh, we almost 50 minutes already that live sessions. So now I would like also to the mind reader. Also the mind reader. Wow, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you are multi-talented. We are proud of you. Really proud of you. Mother like you, I believe the children never goes wrong by the blessed of God. So, so I'm really proud of you. Now I would like to hear from you. As are all those multi-talented. What you would like to say to the parents, to whole nation's parents, what need to do, how to guide the children, and also the believable of English you already said. All together, just you can say your conclusions, some few words. What I can say is um, the school basically has um, the, the best interest of the kids at heart. We do everything for these kids. We promise like, and uh, when the parents that have not registered with us, they can come register. We um, are doing everything we can for these kids. We love them as the, our own uh, uh, kids. And also the most important thing here, when we started the school we the, the, with the pandemic, remember when the pandemic started in 2020, that's when we started. And we've never even had one case of a COVID at a school because wow. we were ma to make sure we take care of these take kids. Care. We've never yeah. had a case, even with the teachers and with the kids, nothing. Wow, great because job. We, great job. We kept, we clear, please, yes. Mr. Uh, to, to our uh, honorable principal. Yeah. So we're taking care of these kids. We're making sure they are safe from the pandemics like COVID, we make sure they're safe from all the other negative things that, that, that can happen to them. We have their best interests at heart. We we care for those kids like they are our own kids. So that's mm -hmm. all I can say. And then we make sure that they learn, they do everything. We teach them reading, the importance of reading that you have. Don't throw books. If you see a book, pick it up and read. We we teach them lots of things. We we want kids to 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 be able to read and write and and love it because sometimes you go to school because you have to go to school but you don't love to to go to school. We want yeah. them to develop the love to, for school. We want them to go to school with knowing that we're going to a, a nice place. It's, it's like home, but you, yeah, you're yeah. learning. Mm -mm. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I do. Agree. So this is a very very good uh, point. You saying that make them let them. To love the school, yeah. yes, and make them and let them used to go to school. That's what yes, I'm and make them love going to school. Like yeah. if it's not school day, they ask, "When are we going to school? We want to go to school." Hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that happens yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, yeah that's that's a, that's a very nice word. Uh, thank you so very much for your valuable uh, 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 opinion. And Mr. Peter. Okay, now can you tell to the world, to the all nations parents, uh, what you'd like to say uh, uh, accordingly our conversations, especially the kids, uh, the proper education, as you mentioned, Mr. Tarikul I mean, he's mentioned that proper education is most important than general education. So what can you say to the parents, uh, some your valuable advice and your opinion as a conclusion? I think one of the most important life lessons for kids from any age when they start school is respect respect, yeah. respect for each you. other thank you respect for their parents respect in general it's, it addresses so many problems of bullying and respect for for, for girls respect exactly. for each other it's important some of the biggest issues the world has now is because there's a lack of respect yeah. Yeah. if we can get respect into our kids yeah. at this age and they've grown up to be adults in a working environment, the world's a much better place. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you so very much. Very good answer. I liked it and, and it's, it's supposed to and it thank should you. be like that to have 
that respect. I'm, I'm really glad and I hope my audience, whoever watching this and parents out there, whoever watching or later on, whoever watching, please be careful how we treat our children, what, where they're going, what they're learning, what they're doing, everything as a parent. Just, we should just, just as a parent, we should, we should taught our children, we should taught our, uh, uh, we should taught our child to show respect, uh, to know how to respect uh, in first situation, how can you uh, you show you respect or how you should compromise uh, so I think uh, the world would be a better place. Wow. So is, is that your few words for conclusion or you can add more some of to our parents and especially the proper education system and school systems, anything you would like to say anymore? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, when the principal and finance manager just uh, said the few nice words, so I didn't. Yeah. I don't need to maybe, add nothing today. HR, so I will keep it HR, for the next. <laughs> maybe as a HR professional, we can have something different and learn from you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Uh, so yeah. Uh, actually, the, uh, Thabil uh, uh, has men. Uh, she has mentioned it very well that when uh, we are interviewing. Uh, the interviewee so uh, as uh, we are the nation is demanding the English very much if you are yeah. engineer but if you don't know the uh, engineering terms in English or if you don't want to uh, apply uh, if you know how to apply it but you don't know the uh, uh, English uh, uh, so that uh, uh, the implementation uh, might hamper or if we, you are doctor uh, but uh, you you don't know you you know the only uh, basic uh, vocabulary of uh, related to the uh, doctor uh, but if you don't know the english well uh, so this that might be a problem you are yeah. a professional like i am a professional or you are journalist uh, uh, she is principal but she is fi uh, uh, he is uh, a finance manager she uh, he know the uh, financial term very well uh, but uh, if he don't know the uh, english as well so that would be the workplace, uh, the productivity yeah. of the organization uh, mm -hmm. uh, will uh, decrease, I think. So yeah, without yeah. knowing English, uh, yeah. uh, it's okay. But if you don't know in English, uh, in professionally, so that might be a, uh, with the nation might be loser, I think. And, and ultimately, we all might be loser. So, so ultimate uh, speech, you're saying that we really need to take serious how to speak English, you really need to take serious to teach our children English, especially in this time. That's what I'm trying to say, Mr. So Tarikatan, I think right. uh, last last I need to just add one thing uh, in little that if uh, the children uh, just have completed their uh, primary education or higher edu edu education in local languages, that's okay. Just uh, uh, to before entering the professional area or before entering the uh, international education system uh, he or she uh, must uh, complete a pre-course uh, or intermediate course uh, for three months or six months that will recover re that will recover uh, his or her the lack of english uh, for the better future i think uh, yeah yeah but the, for the beginning if we teach our children we not have that struggling in the middle of age we must go for yeah. learn for three months or six months so that battle uh, for the parents to so learn from the beginning stage from the from from, from children all right thank you so yeah. much uh, uh tabile uh, tabile duma and mr peter do you have anything thank to you. say or any add uh, anything you want to add or is that's all for now thank you so much for the opportunity and thank you so much for this interview we right, learned mr. a peter? lot thank you so much okay, yeah thank you very much you. for the for the, the the interview and the inputs always appreciated yes. all right okay Thank i mean you. yeah i'm so uh, honored and uh, pleased having uh, mr my uh, uh, mr peter and uh, miss kabili uh, so we had some great time uh, uh, over here so i think uh, we will meet uh, uh, virtually uh, and if the world uh, will be the next place to live in after covid so we'll meet one day yeah of course so maybe much. yeah Thank you so very much, my dear honorable guests from South Africa and from Bangladesh. The world is round. We never know. Maybe somewhere, somehow we'll meet each other. So till then, we must work our, uh, uh, the way we're working, we must work 
positively the way uh, Mr. Peter and Tabili and Mr. Tarikul Amin doing the uh, public functional uh, uh, work. We have to always gear it up, always showing our next generations do the good job and obviously do the social work. As a human being, we have to do some social work. Thank you very much for uh, Mr. Peter and Mr. Amin to attend my small program and give you essential time. Hope we shall see you again. Till then, Allah first, goodbye, and keep oil. May God bless us Thank all. You. Thank you so much. Thank bye you bye. So Thank much. you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.